Did you know that when you're shopping for a house, you essentially have three different opportunities to negotiate how much you're actually going to end up paying for that house. Now, the very first opportunity you have to negotiate for price and what you will pay for a home is obviously when you're submitting offers. Now, when you submit offers on houses, a seller essentially has three different choices they can do with your offer. Now, choice number one is they can accept your offer, best choice available. Number two is that they can counter your offer for different terms, different price. Or number three is they can completely ignore your offer. Depending on how desperate the seller is to sell that house, depending on how much demand there is for that house, and depending on how bad you actually want to buy it will determine whether or not your offer will get accepted. Now, any buyer that buys a house always has the right to bring an inspector to see the house that they're going to buy because you want to know exactly what's faulting in the house. Is the roof messed up? Is the plumbing leaking? Is the electricity not working very well? All these things are going to be disclosed to you by a inspector in an inspection report. When you have that inspection report, you take that to a contractor, get an estimate for all the repairs to bring everything up to code or up to well standing, and then you get to negotiate with the seller how much they're going to credit you for repairs or they can lower the price for the house. Third and final time where you get to negotiate for the sale and what you're going to pay for a house is in the appraisal. The bank always sends an appraiser to the house to value what the house is actually worth. Keep in mind, a bank will never lend a dollar extra than what the appraiser says that the house is worth. So for example, if you offered $500,000 on a house and the appraiser goes over and says the house is worth 480 grand, the bank will only lend you 480 grand. So this creates some pressure. And you have, again, three different options to choose from. Now, number one is the seller can lower the price to 480. Number two is the seller can meet you halfway. Or number three is you have to come up with the money out of your pocket as the buyer. Those are the three times in a home buying process where you get to negotiate the price you pay and how much you will pay for that house. For more home buying tips, guys, send me a message. Let's connect.